What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today is a review of Google Shopper for your iOS device for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Google Shopper is basically an application where it'll help you shop for things, but however, let you find some deals at the same time. So for example, you may be searching for the, some equipment and you want to get it at a cheaper price instead of at a thousand dollars or something. Well, it will give you suggestions on resources where you can get those products for a lot cheaper so let's take a look at the application itself so here's the user interface you are going to be greeted with all right so you have the shop tab right here your today's offer tab as well as your you know, offers tab and of course my offers and please note that this does use your current location so you can find uh, places or you can find like stores where you can shop for that certain item so I don't I'm not gonna have my location be exposed because it's actually at the bottom right here so you should be seeing a black bar um, you won't be seeing that right now because I actually covered it so uh, when you guys see the tab switching I'll just let you know that I'm clicking that on that certain tab so we have our scan button right here our speak button your history button as well as the start button right here as well as some settings over here and you can have it beep when it vibrates, a locale, and then location, which should be blocked out right now. So, yeah, you basically get some different settings right here. And we can just search for a product. So, no, we'll just uh, search for a random thing right here. So, I'm going to click on the search bar right here. All right, so I'm just going to search for a very simple thing. Let's search for iPhone. Oh, if I can spell it right. Okay, there we go. All right, so as you can see, we got iPhone right here, iPhone 4, 3G, 3GS, etc. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you have like some results right here, and it gives you the uh, price of the device itself and, and the source that you can get it from. So in this case, we got Amazon, Best Buy, Apple Store, Four Sellers, Brick House Security, it uh, doesn't matter. Oh, that's actually a spy stick, so that's not the iPhone. And of course, uh, you basically have the scan thing. Now, this is the thing that really confuses me because I don't understand the scan part of uh, this application right here because I'll click scan for example. I got the scan button right here and the scan button is supposed to be where I can like scan a cover of a CD, a book, or a video game. It doesn't matter what it is and or I can scan a barcode. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, a barcode can be something like this and it hasn't even detected it so I'm not not sure how exactly this is supposed to work. So, for example, let me back out of this. Okay, and we'll go back to scan right here. All right, so I got a PSP video game right here, Sonic Rivals 2, and I'm just gonna try to get the the whole thing in frame. I can't even get it in frame. But let's say if I just check out the barcode right here. Where is the barcode? The barcode's right there. Now. You won't be able to see right here, but it says image search hasn't found a product. Yet yeah, try the cover of a book, CD, DVD, or video game. Now, I can't really show it uh, very well because of the camera angle, but as you can see, it it's not searching, and now it says, sorry, image search didn't recognize any cover art. So, I'm really confused on how this feature of the application is supposed to work. So, I, I think Google really needs to be more specific about that. And of course, we have the speak button, which is basically you just use your voice to search for something. And it does take a while to load sometimes, but that's because I'm on an older device, so just give it some time here. iPod. Alright, so as you can see, it searched it. Okay, we'll go back. And we have history, which it, it just views all the stuff that we were searching about. Okay, and start, it's basically the ones that you have started or something. And featured items right here. So these are the categories of items that you can pick from. And all you have to do is, oh, uh, all you have to do is slide to the right in order to view more uh, categories right here. Okay, and now I'm going to the today's offer. So this is the second tab if it'll go to it. All right, so here's the today's offer. And then it just basically gives you like a uh, an offer that's going on right now. And it gives you the time that you have left before you can get to that offer. Otherwise, too bad. 
All right, now I'm going to the Offers tab right here. And as you can see, it gives you like some offers of some places right here. So you can have Play, Eat, uh, which is basically restaurants, or you can have All at the same time right here. And of course, you can pick a different location, such as current location, New York City, etc. It just gives you other cities. And my offers, no, okay, this is what you have to sign into your Google account. So overall, what do I think about this application? I really do like this application because it gives you the choice. So that way you guys can find items that you're looking for. But at the same time, you're looking at, at a cheaper price. And you probably can't find it on your own. And you definitely do not want to be going on website and website like one by one, one by one to find the item that you're looking for. And Google shopper will give you the ability to tell you what they recommend is the best place to get your item that you're looking for this was a review of google shopper and you guys like this video click the like button down below as well as subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and follow me on twitter twitter.com slash ben i will see you guys in the next video you have a good day now